AZMM went down under Cooperstown into the dungeon to speak to Roger St. John and Joey Paradise from the band Ham about the second annual Hammy Awards show. Ham is, I call it party rock. It's all just about having a good time. It's music written to be performed in a bar, songs about drinking and flashing titties and you know, it's jokes, comedies. We give away a 10-pound spiral cut honey glazed ham at every show. The rumors you've heard are true. You just put your name in a bucket, you get a ham. We'll be giving away a ham at the hammies. Every ham show, even the hammies, we give away a ham. It's just just our little gimmick, you know. We something give something back to the people, you know. Feed the hungry masses. Um, it's really, I don't know, I think... We're kind of frustrated comedians I think, who yeah, play music in order to get up on who stage. Play music yeah, well. musicians who do comedy or comedians who play music. You know, you decide. So the whole uh, idea kind of came about as a joke, as do many of our ideas. All, and yeah. many as in all. Yeah, well, all is many. Basically, we were playing a show, and our friend Dane was in the crowd, and Roger made a comment. Uh, Dane is a bass player in a couple of local bands, and Roger made the comment that uh, Dane was the most okayest bass player in the valley. So, uh, about a week later, we were at a bar seeing another band play, and Dane happened to be there, and Dane made uh, the comment, jokingly, he's like, hey, I'm the most okayest bass player. And I looked and at Roger. I an award for that. Yeah, and I, and I said, uh, you know what'd be funny is we come up with a whole bunch of ridiculous roast style awards just like that and put a whole show together and it was kind of just uh, an idea that we thought was pretty cool and um, Dane Clifford still to this day thinks he started the hammies when yeah. he said I should get an award for that one of the biggest things about the thing is it's a celebration of the local music scene, like the entirety of it, not just one genre of music, you know. I mean, we've got hip-hop bands, we've got uh, rock bands, we've got indie bands, kind of uh, techno things, you know. Uh, we have, uh, you know, last year we had uh, Coxon, the Celtic, you know, Irish band. Um, so pretty much... I mean, there's a lot of really great bands in the Valley right now, and it's not exclusive to one type of music. Right. A lot of, you know, punk fan, punk fans don't, don't go to the metal fan shows, you know, and the metal fans don't go to, you know, the rap shows or anything, you know, and there's just a lot of good artists, we want to put them in front of a new audience. Well, it's critically vital to the, to the Arizona economy, to the music community, to Cooperstown, to the whole downtown scene to the Chamber of Commerce, to local mass transportation. It's just, it's a major event. It's like, you know, when the Super Bowl comes here, you know, every um, high tide rises all boats, something like that, you know. I mean, this is a chance for bands to get exposure. It's a chance for fans to see bands they've never seen before. It's a chance for us to make fun of people, which is pretty much our favorite thing to do. It's, uh, it's probably the most important event that this city, you know, ever ever hosts, you know, I I put it up on the level with the Super Bowl, which we only get what once every, who knows how many years, but this is an annual event. Every February, you can count on a mock Grammy Award, local style. This Saturday, come down to Cooperstown. Come for the talent. Come for the music. Stay for the ham. AZMM will be there, and you should too. I'll take a shower when it's over. <laughs> Actually, maybe I'll take a shower right before. I hope so. I have to stand <laughs> next to him on stage. I don't want to be all stinky in my tuxedo.